Everyone wants better FPS. That's a fact. You want to know which the best NVIDIA driver is. Hence, you clicked on this video. That's why I will be comparing four popular drivers to crown the king at the start of 2024. So sit down, strap in, let's go. First and foremost, Happy New Year to everyone. It's my first driver video for 2024. I know it's been a hot minute since I last did a driver video, but I'm back to my benchmarking for better or for worse. Shaders, building and all. Together we will find out which is the best NVIDIA driver to start off the new year. Before I get to my results, a few tips. The latest couple of NVIDIA drivers from probably the last six months have had a hardware acceleration issue. So for best results, especially in 10 and 20 series cards, I recommend enabling hardware accelerated GPU scheduling via Windows settings. This enables hardware acceleration system-wide in apps that can make use of it. But then I recommend disabling hardware acceleration in your browser, Steam, Discord, and VLC if you actually use the app as this will cause conflicts with hags if left on. Whilst you're at it, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and of course, set all notifications on. But at that, let's get to those results. Right guys, so uh, obviously I benchmarked four different drivers, the latest NVIDIA driver, 546.33, 546.17, which was the Alan Wake driver, it, it just to help with performance and some texture pop out to a certain degree. 537.58, which was very popular in terms of latency, it has fallen behind in terms of performance, and then a driver that I just randomly picked, because I, at the time I quite liked it, was 536.40. So guys, all my games are tested at medium settings, except for the newer titles. I do test on GTX 1650 laptops, so the new games or the games from 2023 are generally at the low. Um, FSR 2.0 or 2.1 is set to quality, uh, the quality setting where available. And uh, just bear in mind guys, I do test on GTX laptops, so if you've got a GTX card, your results will probably be similar to mine. If you've got an RTX 3060 and up, it does interface with the driver slightly differently, so your results may vary. At that, let's get to it. So, um, 536.40, I used to like a driver. It has fallen quite far behind in terms of performance. When I add up all the average FPS, I get to 567. When I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 429. And then when I add up all the 0.1% lows, I get to 361. Not terrible, but not great. A uh, very popular drive in terms of latency, 537.58, add up all the average FPS, get to 567, add up all the 1% lows, and not a great result, 419, and then add up all the 0.1% lows, get to 358. So after the most recent Windows updates, this drive has completely fallen off. Then uh, the Allen Wake driver for texture pop-out and sustained performance, apparently, 546.17, add up all the average FPS, get to 568, add up all the 1% lows, get to 439, add up all the 0.1% lows, and I get to 374. So, pretty good result. It's only a little bit behind 546.33. So, for 546.33, it's got the best temperatures, it's got the best 1% lows, it's got the best 0.1% lows, and it's got good latency. When I add up all the average FPS, get to 570. So not, not a lot better, but slightly better in terms of average FPS. When I add up all the 1% lows, get to 442. So still the 1% low king. And when I add up all the 0.1% lows, I get to 376. So guys, I just updated my windows this morning. I still do recommend 546.33. It's got very good stability, it's got great latency, and it's got the best temperatures on your CPU and GPU. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section. And as always, keep on watching my freaking videos. Have a good one. Cheers.